Hello there, my crawfish, and welcome to the Lobscast. Today we are back with another episode of Pokemon Emerald. Now, of course, it's been a little bit, a little while since I played, so once again, for the umpteenth time, we're gonna have to figure out what we're doing. Ooh, hello. Have I faced you before? Let me check who my first two are. First of all, it's gonna be a double battle to remember. When did I add you to my team? I have no memory of this face. EXP share. So we're trying to train him quite clearly. Was it because I decided I needed an electric Pokemon in my team to balance things out? Yeah, it probably is. Ah, and Rock Shell evolved. I completely forgot about that. Good old Rock Shell. Rock Shell's the best. Self destruct for days. 200 power. I forgot it had that much. Damn, that's a lot of power. Turtle Dove. How's Turtle Dove doing? Yeah, Turtle Dove's pretty awful stat wise. Oh my god. Those are atrocious stats. Because look, look at the difference. 22. Level 24. A little bit of difference there. I know it's evolved and everything. But even so, yeah, your stats are pretty average. <laughs> your stats <laughs> are comparable to Wingull's. Bar to speed, maybe. Oh, well. Let's get going. Oh, we've already done that. Okay, that was a big build-up for nothing. Have we beaten you, good sir? No, we have not. I'll have to change that. A massive change to that. Magikarp, my mortal enemy. Well, you shall fall in this battle, sir. You shall fall before the might of my lack of electricity moves. Or electric moves, even. No, well, tackle you to death, I guess. But shh, that's gonna take a while. And you can actually tackle. Um, well, this is a strange turn of events may be unable to move, that you'd better make that always unable to move. Okay, except when you wants to use Splash, because that's utterly useless. That's how. Yeah. You raised that attack. <laughs> it was probably just going to Splash anyway. Tackle. Yes. Can't believe I'm having to set up my my Electrike on a, on a Magikarp. This is just... I should be able to one-hit KO it, but no, I've got a severe lack of electric moves. Who would have thought it? Oh, you just critted me. That's the last time you'll ever breathe on this earth. Well, you don't so much breathe as process. Never mind. You're on land. I shouldn't question anything. Uh, tackle. It's about the only option I have at this moment in time. Even with all of those howls. I guess it's, I guess it's okay, because it was paralyzed just then, but even so. I'm going to get, like, 40 experience. 66? Okay, then. That's a bit, bit better than I anticipated. Oh, and you're immune to electricity. Ah, well, um... Damn. Guess the only thing I can't use against you is Thunder Wave, but that's not so big of a loss. I've already set up my howls. It's just a matter of taking you down. Oh, no, electricity's power's gonna be weakened. No. Whatever shall I do? I have no options left. Oh, Rig, that's, um, that's a thing. Well, no experience for you, and this one would have actually given me some decent experience. Can't believe I completely disregarded that. I was like, oh, yeah, well, uh, Electric's not going to work because he's ground, but, oh, yeah, he has ground moves being a ground type. Well, then, Jenninja, go. Work your magic. Work, work. Work for it. Swipe him with great fury. Oh look, water sport, fire's power was weakened. Oh no, Shedinja, the bug type is really going to falter because of this. <laughs> it would hit two times, it would hit two times. It avoided it with its wonder guard. Goodbye, good sir. This Pokemon, man, this Pokemon. Goldeen. <laughs> I get the feeling you might have Peck, so I'm gonna switch out. If I watch, if I watch you use Peck against me, I don't know. I've made a great decision. Now, don't judge me for sending out Rock Shell. I just want to see what you can make of a uh, make of a Goldeen. Despite being weak against water, Goldeen doesn't tend to carry water moves. If it does, it'll be Water Gun, and I can always just self destruct. No, I'm not like silly. I will, however, Magnitude. Seven. I was hoping for eight, but seven will do. 
Yeah, goodbye, Goldine. <laughs> Precisely why I switched into Rock Shell. Ooh, level 26. Well, how about that? If we were fishing, I would have won. Don't know what that was supposed to be, but you wouldn't have. Def look, I've got... I've oh, Okay, it's a bike. I can chuck my bike into the water and it'll probably kill something. I mean, if it's got some sort of electric generator on it, I'll probably kill a bunch of stuff. Except, actually, that, that would never happen. But it might be like a thousand volts. Who's 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 to say it's not? My my bike might run at a thousand wo uh, volts. I was gonna say a thousand volts. That'd be quite a dance show. But no, no, volts. You better believe it. You don't believe me? Well, I will prove it to you. Whenever my electric downwell gets an electric move bar thunder wave, because thunder wave is not so useful to me right now. Hey hey. Stop gazing off into the distance and pay attention to me. Okay then, so you're going to exercise by sending out things to do your bidding. Oh god, the mental and physical strain that it takes to shout, Use this move! My oh my. Your poor, poor lungs. Having said, Thunder Wave is not actually that useful, it's still quite annoying for the opponent. Or at least it would be if they could actually feel emotion. Oh no, water gun. I'm ruined. Hmm. Okay, that's quite a dangerous spot. If it, if it whips out the rollout, I'm going to hope for the uh, power hacks to cancel it. Not so much power hacks, I guess, as just doing its thing. But Okay, there's the rollout. Cool. We shall tackle and hope for the paralysis. Yes. Although I don't think we're actually going to finish it off, so I should probably just switch out to um, not a because surprisingly enough, I think he's weak against rock. Let me just double check his typing. He, m he, uh, he might well be, and if you just heard something, don't mind me. I'm definitely not hitting my headphones against the mic arm. Nope. But you know who will do well? Shrewdrill, that's who. And he's got EXP share anyway, so he should be fine. Absolutely fine. <laughs> One damage. I feel like just leech seeding for the hell of it, but no. Mega Drain's where it's at. Can't insult them any better than you can through leech seed. Oh dear. They hung on by a thread. One damage? Again, I ruined. Just get the priority hit. We don't. We've already got enough speed to outspeed them anyway. But whatever. In case it pulled some shenanigans. No, 55 experience. That, that's great distribution of experience there. I do love fair distribution. Not so much normal distribution though. That can go die. We we'll send now rock shell just because we can. Worst case scenario, we self destruct. Now that I wouldn't call that worst case scenario as so much as I called that awesome case scenario, but. I kind of still want the experience, so I'm going to magnitude hope for an 8. Got the 8. Let's go. See you in Lummy. Okay, that wasn't quite enough. It looked like enough, but it wasn't, so... Well, he only astonished anyway, so it's fine. Chuck some rocks at him. Goodbye, Lombre. Bye-bye. That's the experience I'm looking for. Come on. Come on, shine on, you crazy diamond. There might be a diamond hidden within Rock Shell, having said that. I might have to extract it from him later. And if it turns out that there wasn't one, then I'll just kind of shove him under the carpet. It's fine. What have we here? Item, 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 item. Yes, I got myself a roof hive. Didn't have to pay the extortionate store price for it either, because items that can bring stuff back from the dead or fainted state are clearly overpriced, yes. Technology and such. It's not even technology, it's like some weird stone thing. Diamond shaped stone of yellowness. Oh, I kind of want a Ludicolo. I kind of want a Ludicolo. So we've got at least fun the way to make it easier to catch. I'm not sure when I'll actually bring you onto the team, but I will get a Ludicolo eventually, because Ludicolos are awesome. No questions asked. But you can't anyway, because it's a video, not a live stream. <laughs> Scoffs all the way to the Ludicolo bank. 
I'm going to have like 20 Ludicolo stored up there. Just you wait and see. It's my destiny. Okay, maybe it's not my destiny, but it should be. It really should be. Turtle Dove's attack fell. Turtle Dove used the wing attack. It was super effective. But because Turtle Dove has really terrible stats, it didn't do all that much damage. In comparison to how much it should do. What a digital dummy. Oh, you know what? Paralyzed and low health. I, not, not quite red, but I don't want to risk killing it. Despite the abundancy of them in this area. So I'm just going to go ahead and check a Pokeball. Man, I wish TMs were infinite in this game. That would make life so much easier. I give so many cool moves to my Pokemon. I don't have to worry about losing them forever. And we've got our load had. But what shall we name it? That is the question. That is indeed the question. The question of the questions. The question of all questions. The question to end all questions. It's a Waterweed Pokemon, I just noticed. That's just harsh. Hmm. Oh, well, you know what? I think I just kind of... This mic arm is right... Oh, it's not even the arm it's hitting. It's the pop filter arm attached to the arm. Yeah, don't worry about it. Mic setups and stuff. But yeah, I think I'll leave the naming of this Lotad soon to be Ludicolo to you. So thank you very much for coming along and watching. Might be a little bit shorter than usual episodes, but... I don't know, it felt... It felt right. It felt ever so right to end it at this point. Don't know why. If it turns out it's only been eight minutes long, I'll just cut to me resuming. But for now, thank you very much again, and I will see you next time.